Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Devin and on this channel we talk about all things plants. And in today's video I'm really excited because if you haven't heard, Hilton Carter came out with a collaboration with Target. Now, if you don't know who Hilton Carter is, he is a plant stylist and plant dad, everything that encompasses plants. And if you haven't seen his Instagram, I would link I'm going to link it down below, but I would definitely go and follow him too. His stuff is amazing. He gives really good, easy tips, and his styling, I'm obsessed. Like, I have have all three of his books. And they're really awesome for, especially if you're into, like, specifically, like, plant styling stuff. His home, and I think it's, like, Baltimore? Yeah, I think he's building a new home or something like that, is beautiful. He is also, in his collaboration with Target, is selling his new book, which I have right here, and, like, this one is more focused on, like, DIY type stuff, but his other ones, like, Wild at Home, is more of, like, a styling book, and then he also has Wild in Tears, which is also another styling-based book um, that incorporates other artists and stuff like that. So, those are his books. I would check them out if I were you. I love looking at them for like inspiration and stuff. Anyways, so Target has a limited collection with him and it launched on Friday in select stores. So just like go to the Target and Target online or Target app and figure out if your Target has it. You can also order stuff online. Go up on Friday and bought a few things just because I wasn't sure if it was going to be out of stock in stores by the time I got there. So lunch break. On Friday I rushed over to Target and checked it out so in his collection he has faux plants live plants and select stores um, propagation stations and um, accessories like aprons shears a few other things I can't think of off the top of my head I will link Target's direct link to his line down below so in this video, I'm just going to give you my thoughts on it and show you guys what is happening over at Target. I think it's so cool that Target has finally now, like, the plant community, I feel like, has grown so much in the past few years. Like, I think I, I started collecting plants pretty big in 2018 is when I kind of started my collection. And with 2020, I feel like the entire industry and collection and people who are plant parents have like grown so much which is so cool to see because now it's kind of more mainstream but I will say the downside of all of it is that plant prices are just wild comment down below if you agree with me or like this video because I feel like when we first started buying plants they were you can get like a monstera deliciosa for like 20 bucks I remember that was one of my first plants I didn't even know what it was and it was so cheap, but now they're so expensive, and everything is, the prices have gone up because of demand, like, basic economics. Anyways. Okay, so the first part that I saw was, like, the planters and the faux planters. Um, when I was there, they were actually still unpacking the live plants, but they have these really nice, I think they're ceramic, I'm not exactly sure, pots that kind of have, like, this bubble effect. And their main colors, or his main colors, are, like, black, white, and tan, which I really like. And here are some more like four inch and six inch pots. And then he also has a pretty good collection of faux plants that come in cute little planters like this one, which I think is supposed to be a philodendron birkin. And then another hanging one that is supposed to be a Hoya. And then he has like these really cute trays, I guess again, ceramic as well. And then I forgot to mention earlier that he has cute watering cans like this one I really like as well. It's got a brown handle with white and it's pretty hefty um, for a watering can. Then he has like more big faux plants and like a monster anatonii and more of those bubble planters, which I actually ended up picking up this one or ordering it online earlier that day. But I really like it, the shapes that it has. They're, I think it's, it's very unique and it they each come with their own drainage hole and saucer to make it kind of look like a full, like it's one thing, which I thought was really cool. And this was $20 and the one next to it, I think was about 10. So he has a pretty good collection of faux plants. Um, here's a big faux palm and it's really big. I forgot to get the price of it, but it's also planted in the cute 
planters that are similar to the ones that you could pot a real plant in. So like cacti, and I think that is the philodendron xanadu. I'm assuming that's what it's supposed to be. So the quality of the faux plants, I'm not a big faux plant person, was actually pretty decent. Um, you guys can let me know if you think that they look pretty real. I wasn't sure what this was supposed to be. I'm assuming it's supposed to be some sort of peperomia. And here I have propagation stations. So he's actually known and has a lot of built his own or has a line, I guess, already of propagation stations. And this one was like a single one with a heavy marble base, which I thought was really cool. I actually ended up picking up a propagation station myself. And here are like larger versions of the other ones and then cute little amber bottles that also mimic the same shape, which I thought was really cool. And this one only had like one terrarium. Um, I think I've seen bigger ones online in his collection. And then now we're starting to get into the actual live plants. So the variety of plants that I saw were like the snake plants, the pothos enjoy, the philodendron birkin. They had cact a few cacti and here's another really cute watering can. I really like this one actually. He also has a collection of marble and metal plant stands, which are really cute. And also has these jars of decorative moss and rocks. Not exactly sure what they're supposed to be for, but um, they make a cute decor. And maybe you can actually use the stuff inside of it. That's what it's supposed to be for. And then here is um, a money tree and a fern next to it. And and the aprons and stuff like that. And the plants that I saw at my stores was um, little succulents, little cacti. Um, they had, I think it was the Pothos Enjoy. They had Moonshine Shansveria, which I thought was cool because you don't, I don't normally find those in the nurseries around me. The one that I have, I had to order online. So it was cool that they had that. And I think and it went to a couple different targets that they had different sands of areas, probably in about, I think, like a four inch pot was the main size of most of the plants. And I think there were biggest, bigger ones like um, Monsteras and I saw the Ficus and um, I did see Bird of Paradise as well. And those were probably about an eight inch pot for about $30. So I saw some people online kind of questioning me like, is $30 good price for that? I guess that's kind of up to your own opinion. I think $30 for an eight inch Monstera, unfortunately is kind of around the price point, but in my opinion, I still think that's a little expensive, but like I understand the pricing because of just the plant prices in general right now. But I will say, and I don't think this is like his fault at all. I think wherever they got it distributed from and they're not usually getting live plants from Target, as the girls were undoing all of the live plants at Target, they were all like, we can't sell this because it's like, I wouldn't buy this, it's dying, it's not in good condition. And I was <laughs> taking a peek at what they were undoing and it was a lot of the um, ficuses and bird of paradise. And I would agree with them, they did not look in that good of condition for that store. And some of the little cacti, I think they were in like a little two inch pot, they looked fine. Um, and most of the Sansevierias are snake plants. And a few of the Pothos Enjoy looked okay. There was also, um, I think it was, it was a type of fern. And then they also had money, the little money trees, which were about a four inch pot too, which they looked okay. Depending on the store, some were like really bad shape and some weren't. So again, like I said, I don't think it's his fault. I think it's the first time that Target's ever really had live plants and shipping. So I don't know what that was about, but I think the quality of some of the plants, unfortunately during distribution or shipping, weren't as good as some of like the local nurseries. Always room for improvement. That's just what I saw in my targets. I don't know, like, like leave a comment down below, like talking about if you guys have seen this, if the quality of them was that good. The other note, I think the type of selection of plants was a pretty good selection. So I think the type of plants like the money tree, the pothos, the sansevieria, and cacti and little succulents, I think those are really good and even the monsters are really good like beginner plants, like easy care plants to take care of. Ficus depends on who you are, whether they're easy plant or not. 
um, they've never really been that easy for me, but I think the variety of plants that they chose was a pretty good variety and oh, I did see a few ZZ plants as well. So again, another pretty basic, I don't, I don't like saying basic, um, like easy care house plant. Um, to choose from so and the selection and type of plants I think it was a good selection it wasn't like it'd be all plants that I would pick up if I didn't already have like multiples of them at my house well let's just talk about what I purchased for myself so I already have this book because uh, I'm a nerd and I got on the, <laughs> the wait list for it before it launched but I got speaking of propagation stations so I got this which is a um, metal and glass like this is a little test tube and you hang it up um, I'll put a picture on the screen so you guys can see it better um, no idea where we're gonna put it but I think it's really cute and I envision like a really long vining plant coming out of it that just kind of chills in there yeah and I think it was ten dollars so I think all of his prices were really good for considering plant stuff can be expensive sometimes in my opinion and then I got this beauty which I love these planters so plant not included I just wanted to go ahead and stick my Brazil filled engine in there so it has like the little saucer which is cute and a, a plug that you can do and at first I didn't think this came with a saucer I thought it was just like a little accordion that's what I'm like for accordion style planter but I'm Excited that this is actually part of the saucer, but it makes it look like it's one pot. So, and then, uh, it hasn't come in yet, but it is a planter wall thing, and it comes in different sizes. Like I said, it was like whites, um, blacks, and tans. Uh, no idea where we're going to put it, but I think it's really cute. It's kind of almost like a, a rainbow style piece. So I'm excited for that to come in and style it. Um, if you want to follow me over on Instagram, I will link that below and also on the screen um, of how I end up styling it because I'm kind of in the phase right now of styling a bunch of different areas of my house, redoing it. Like, I don't this, where I'm sitting in now, I've kind of zoomed in a lot because the video next week is actually gonna be me creating this plant nook, which I think it turned out pretty well. I included um, some grow lights. If you want to know when that video goes live, and I'm hoping that it's gonna go live next week, um, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I upload. I think that's gonna be all for this video. Definitely, if you haven't checked it out, check it out online or go to your store. Um, again, I don't know when they're gonna be restocking stuff or how long the limited release is. Go follow him over on Instagram and become obsessed like I am. I feel weird saying that, but I feel like I started following him a couple years ago and he would do stuff for like apartment therapy, uh, like snippets of plant care. And I feel like he's got like a really personable, calm demeanor about himself. I talk like I know him personally, but I don't. Um, give it a thumbs up if you like it. Let me know in the comments below if you wanna see more stuff like this or any sort of plant stores. I just discovered a new one down the street for me, which I've already bought a few things from. If you wanna see that, let me know. That's it for this video, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.